But in children, in the previous class, I've given some assignment. Is it? For that, I'm giving the answer. What assignment I've given? Three sums. Is it? Three sums are given the assignment. Is it? For that, I'm giving the answer. First one, B. I think B. Three thousand three eighty-eight. So next, D. Ninety two thousand four hundred and eight E seven lakh eighty three thousand zero nine five. Yes. Okay, one more we will see zero zero six. Okay, so I told what uh, what I told in the previous class. We have to see for the rounding of tens means we have to see the ones column. We have to see the ones column. Okay, what is there in the ones column? Eight is there. Eight means three thousand three hundred and eighty-eight is greater than three thousand three hundred and eighty-five. So answer is three thousand three ninety. Three thousand three ninety. Next, ninety-two thousand four hundred and eight is greater than ninety-two thousand four hundred and five. That answer is ninety-two thousand four hundred and ten. Ninety-two thousand four hundred and ten means next ten we have to take then the number in the ones column is it is equal to or greater than five then we have to take the next forward forwarding means right hand side I said next seven lakh eighty-two thousand ninety-five that equal to that is equal to seven lakh eighty-three thousand ninety-five so. Answer is seven lakh eighty-three thousand hundred. After ninety, hundred is the tens. Next, eleven zero zero six is less than eleven. Sorry, greater than. Sorry, greater than eleven zero zero five. So answer is eleven zero one zero. Eleven zero one zero. This is the assignment given in the previous class. Assignment answers. That is once again all of you check your answers. Got it, children? Everybody. When you have to see the for tens means round to the round to the nearest tens means you have to see the ones column. When we are saying the ones column means it should it should be greater than five or equal to five, then we have to round to the next eighty after next ten is ninety. So I have written ninety. Next year eight is greater than five, so I have written ten. Next ninety five, ninety five is equal to five. Five is equal to five, so seven lakhs eighty three thousand hundred. Next. This is also greater than five, so I have written next eleven zero zero six means ten will come eleven thousand ten. Got it? Okay. Next, we go for the third main. Check it, all of you, once again. You can pause it and you can check also the answer. Okay, children, we we'll go for the next third main exercise one point three third main. What is there? Round these numbers to the nearest thousand. Hundred also finished yesterday. Sorry, not yesterday. Yesterday means in the next previous class. Yesterday, not in the previous class. We have then round the numbers to the nearest hundreds. Now we are taking round these numbers to the nearest. To the nearest. Hundred, sorry, thousand. Round these numbers to the nearest thousand. Okay, new no shortcut method is necessary. We have given. Okay, thousand means what are the rules? First, you learn the rules of rounding. So, first of all, find the digit in the place that you are rounding to. So, we have given. Twenty-seven thousand six hundred and seventy-eight. Step one: We have to round these numbers to the nearest thousand. We have to round to the thousand. 
So, first step, you have to see what place. Find the digit in the place that you are rounding to. Find the digit in the place that you are rounding to. Okay, next, look at the digit to its right. Look at the digit first one. Find the place. Find the digit in the place. What digit you are rounding to? Find the digit in the place that you are rounding to. That we are rounding to. Okay. Next step. Step two. Look at the digit to the right. Look at the digit. To the right. 27,678 they are given. Okay. 27,678. Next, third step. What is the third step? Since 6 is more than 5, here, you have to see this column. So, in the tens column, round to the nearest tens means we have done one column. Round to the nearest 100 means are then 10 column. Now we have to see in the 100 column. Now we have to see the 100 column. Got it? Since in the textbook they have given, since, sorry, since 6 is more than, 6 is more than 5, 6 is more than 5, add 1 to the digit in the add. 1 to the digit according to the textbook and telling children shortcut method I will teach anyway I am teaching you know in the previous class also I taught you like this only again we will go what textbook has given the rules of uh, rounding that only I am following and I am teaching you okay add 1 to the digit in the thousands place in the thousands place In the thousands place and change and change all the digits, all the digits after that zero, after that to zero. So it has become twenty seven thousand. 678. 1 to the 1000 place they have told. Third step is 6 is more than 5. As since 6 is more than 5, add 1 to the digit. 1 to the digit in the 1000th place. What is there in the 1000th place? 7 is there. So for that we have to add 1 according to the textbook and teaching. Add 1 to the number 7. Then it will become 28000. So answer is 28000. Same shortcut method only we are teaching now. I will tell. No need to write all these things. They have written as 27,678 is greater than 27,500. 27,500. You have to see the hundreds column. 27,500. So answer is 28,000. Answer is 28,000. We have to see 100 column for the 1,000. Round to the nearest 1,000, we have to see the 100 column. If it is greater than 500 or equal to 500, it will be rounded to the next 1,000. Rounded to the next means adding 1 to the 1,000th place. If it is less than 500, no need to add any one to the thousand place. Same thousands only we can write. Same thousand only we can write. Got it? Understood, I think. We'll go for the sums. Exercise. Third main. Okay. This is the only example. I'm teaching according to the textbook. See, ma'am did not be taught us according to the textbook. So, for that purpose, I'm going to the textbook. Following the textbook. Okay. I think understood children, everybody. What textbook and uh, method they have given? That only I have explained you. Now we'll go for the shortcut. Okay. Shortcut method we will follow.
you should write neatly children handwriting should be very very neat you have to maintain your class work also neatly okay next first one 1.3 exercise third main first one 2 lakh 36473 2 36473 so 2 lakh we have to see the which column hundreds column this number whether it is less than 500 or greater than 500 or equal to 500 So here two lakh thirty six thousand four seventy three is less than two lakh thirty six thousand five hundred. So answer is no need to add any one in the thousand place. So it will come two lakh thirty six thousand. Two lakh thirty six thousand. Next second one three lakh ninety nine thousand eight hundred and forty six. Three lakh ninety-nine thousand eight hundred and forty-six. Here we have to see this main this column only. We have to see now under column what number is there that only we have to concentrate now. So three lakh ninety-nine thousand eight forty-six is greater than three lakh ninety-nine thousand five hundred. So the answer is how much? It is ninety-nine. So what will become now? Four lakhs. Next thousand is ninety nine after what? Four lakh. Got it? Next third one. Four lakh nine thousand. How much? Six zero seven. So here also in this six. So as. In the textbook, according to the textbook, four lakh nine thousand six zero seven is greater than four lakh nine thousand five hundred. So it will become four lakh ten thousand. Four lakh ten thousand. See, children, this is the shortcut method. Shortcut method. Textbook method only. I have not written the point words, but I have written the shortcut method. They only told it. Use shortcut if necessary. So I have used the shortcut method. Textbook method only I am following, and also shortcut method. Thirty-five thousand five hundred and two. Thirty-five thousand five hundred and two. Okay. So thirty-five thousand five hundred and two is greater than thirty-five thousand five hundred. So answer is thirty six thousand. Thirty six thousand. Next, last one nine lakh seventy seven thousand six hundred and forty eight. So nine lakh seventy seven thousand six hundred and forty eight. Also, it is greater than five hundred. Nine lakh seventy seven thousand. Six hundred and forty-eight is greater than nine lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred. So answer is we have to add here one to the thousand place nine lakh seventy-eight thousand. Nine lakh seventy-eight thousand. Got it? Every sum I have solved here. So six is greater than five. So it does we in the thousand place one is added or. Towards the right hand side means next thousand. I told you one should be added to the thousand place. Got it? If it is less than, no need to add any one to the thousand place. If it is greater than or equal to, then we should add one to the in one in a in the thousand place. One in the thousand place. Got it, children? Understood? I think everybody followed. Okay. We go for the next main, fourth main. <clears throat> okay.
So next, A one, the municipal corporation, municipal corporation, municipal corporation, spent rupees six lakh ninety four thousand eight hundred. Sorry, eight thirty. Eight thirty on repairing the roads. On repairing the on repairing the roads. On repairing the road. This statement you have to round to the nearest. They have given in the bracket. What they have given nearest thousand. Nearest thousand. Nearest thousand. You have to. Write the answer in the nearest thousand. So answer the municipal corporation. Write in words only that you can. So we are also writing the same. Okay, municipal corporation spent rupees six lakhs ninety four thousand eight thirty. So here we are having here in the eight thirty. We have to see it is greater than five. Sorry, five hundred. Is it? So we have to add one to the thousand place. So six four. Directly we can write the answer. So we can write ninety five thousand six lakhs ninety five thousand on repairing roads. And repairing the roads. How? Because six lakh ninety four thousand eight thirty is greater than six lakh ninety four thousand five hundred. So answer is six lakh ninety five thousand. Six lakh ninety five thousand. I have given the clarification for the answer. How we wrote? Why we wrote six lakh ninety five thousand? Okay. Next eight ninety nine people. Eight ninety nine people attended the meeting. Attended the meeting. Attended the meeting of coin collectors. Of coin collectors. Of coin collectors in the city. In the city. So this time we have to. Round to the nearest, nearest hundred. So here also we have to see it is greater than or less than. Okay, tens column we have to see is it as it is ninety nine is greater than fifty. So here nine hundred people attended. The meeting of coin collectors of coin collectors in the city. How we got nine hundred? I give the clarification. Why? How we we got the nine hundred? Eight ninety nine is greater than eight fifty. So answer is nine hundred. Eight ninety nine is greater than eight fifty. So answer is nine hundred. Next, last one, third one, C one. The Rajdhani Express was delayed by four hours and fifteen minutes. Four hours and fifteen minutes. C one. The Rajdhani Express. Rajdhani Express. So the first one. Copied, I think everybody. Or otherwise, anyway, we are sending the PDF. No, you can write by seeing the PDF clearly and neatly. Only for understanding purpose. You can. I am teaching you. Rajasthan Express. Rajasthan Express was delayed. Was delayed by. Was delayed by 
four hours, four hours and fifteen minutes. Four hours and fifteen minutes. Nearest to hours they are given. Nearest to hours. Okay. So answer. The Rajdhani Express is Rajdhani Express was delayed was delayed by four hours was delayed by four hours. That's all. Okay. Nearest to hours they have given. So four hours, fifteen. One one hour we have how many minutes? Sixteen minutes. Is it? So it is fifty more than fifty minutes. We can go for the next hour. But it is less than fifty only. So it is four hours only. Same hours we have delayed by four hours. Got it? I think understood everybody. Then we we'll go for the next topic is Roman numbers. What is the next topic? Roman numbers. What are Roman numbers? I explain in this course also. Once again, we'll take that Roman numbers, basic things. Today we'll learn the basic things. In the next class, we'll go for the exercise. Okay. I think you have all studied in the fourth standard also, but as it is last year from last year it is because of this pandemic situation you are learning through online no for that purpose so many children they cannot watch properly and they cannot do they cannot do the practice so for that purpose once again i am teaching you we will learn today the basic things of roman number today we will we learn the basic things of roman number and the, in the next class i'll go for the exercise 1.4 that is last exercise okay everybody worksheet also i have given to pdf i think everybody taken okay 1 okay so First box, Roman numbers. Next, Hindu Arabic, Hindu Arabic numerals. Hindu Arabic numerals. If you learn first the basic seven letters, it will be easy for you to learn the Roman numbers. Okay. Every topic, whatever topic I am teaching now, that will be included till you are 10th standard. So, for that purpose, I am telling you, you have to listen properly, concentrate more and you have to put more effort. Then only you can understand the concept easily. I, V, X, L, C, D, F. Yeah. So, I means 1, 5, 10, L means 50, 50, C means 100, 500,000, yes, 500,000. So, I think you have learned only 1 to 50 Roman numerals in the 4th standard. Now, you are learning still more, till 1000 also you are learning and we are doing the sums also on this Roman numerals. Hindu Arabic letters and numerals we are using as we are using in the mathematics daily, that is the Hindu Arabic numerals. But Roman numbers we are using only for separate, separately means remember that do not have zero. These Roman numbers we don't have any zero in the place value. Do not use place value. Zero, so they don't use any place value. They don't have zero and they don't use any place value, only some companies or some things they will use this roman numbers okay only we are using daily in our practice we are using only hindu arabic numerals this if you practice it is easy for you to understand the roman numbers and also you can 
practice how many times you want that many times you can practice this is this is included still your 10th standard so please concentrate more understand the concept easily and practice how many times you want that many times you can practice okay this is the basic seven letters of roman numerals if you learn this it is easy for you to understand the roman numbers okay children i think everybody noted following okay we we'll go on the next class in the next class i will go for the exercise thank you very much children